Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back. My name is Sarita. I have a summery beachy candle for you from Village Candle and the candle is Soleil All Day. It looks like this, isn't that lovely? And Soleil means sun, from what language? <laughs> I think it's French, I think it's French, right? Cirque du Soleil is the circus of the sun. I think it's French. Soleil all day, sun all day, and very apropos, this wax is a gorgeous sunny yellow color. Um, the label uh, online, because this is still available online on Village Candle, I believe they've had this one for a good long time, several years back in their recent past. It's a standby, I think. And they have a little bit of a different label along with this one online. It's got like a, it's the underneath of a big like patio umbrella that's yellow. But yellow, they're definitely committing to this color. I found a dupe of it at Marshall's and it's this. And they called it Tahitian Twist. To my nose, it's like almost exactly this one, which is Soleil All Day. So I'm not really sure why there was the name change for the one at Marshall's. Um, the notes are almost exactly the same that they have listed on both of the candles. The wax is the same color. Um, and yeah, I mean, this may have just been like, the formula may have been a mistake, a little bit off from their regular one, or they just wanted some, for some reason, to distinguish the candles that they sell at Marshalls and TJ Maxx from the ones that they sell in the catalog. I actually have no idea. But for all intents and purposes, these are the same candle. So in your travels, if you should find Tahitian Twist, perhaps in Marshalls or in TJ Maxx, know that that is probably at least an almost negligibly different version of so lay all day, which you can very readily get on their website. So both of them list on the front coconut milk, jasmine, and neroli flower. And then so lay all day, all day also lists oud, teak, and musk. And then online, they tell us that the top notes, more formally, are coconut milk, jasmine, and orange, interestingly, although I'm not getting much of that. Mid notes, Oud wood, summer teak wood, neroli flower, and base notes are pink sands. I don't, I don't know what pink sands smell like, but it reminds me of Yankee Candle pink sands. And I think it would in the minds of most, since that's one of their best sellers. So maybe they are trying to self-consciously invoke something about like that tropical candle from Yankee Candle. I guess there are like maybe a little bit of a similarity, but not a whole lot. Anyway, base notes, pink sands, musk, and cedar. So there's a lot of wood in there from the teak, from the oud, from the cedar. And then you have a floral, like a tropical floral, white floral of jasmine and neroli. And then you have some coconut. That's how I would interpret that whole. And I think that that's actually pretty spot on. Um, I, I like to smell from this one because I'm getting, I have burned this one the most and I'm just getting a very strong soot smell right now, even though there's really very little soot in the actual jar. Um, so I don't know, uh, why it's doing that. I did just burn it recently, but I'm actually getting a better smell from this one, which I have also burned a little bit. Weirdly, this one burned better than the actual one from there, because I ordered this off of their website as opposed to the Marshalls one. The Marshalls one has been burning great, but that said, I've only burned like a little bit of it. It seems like I burned it for hours. This is the old paraffin though that will take forever. I love these. These are like the old Yankee Candle-ish apothecaries with the paraffin. Oh gosh, I love the paraffin. This is a 26 ounce, and this one is um, a 13.75, so 14 ounce. I would say this is mostly a tropical floral. Um, 
and it's tropical. It might feel beachy and tropical just from the jasmine and the neroli, frankly, but it's with the coconut milk that's just, oh, it's fruity and floral. You know exactly where you are. You know you're in Tahiti for sure. And yes, there is wood and there is musk, but if I was just smelling it, it's so well balanced and so well blended that I don't know that I would call out the wood and the musk. But then when I look at the notes and I smell it again, I can smell it. So I would say that the wood and the musk are really providing a true grounding to this candle. And I wouldn't be too concerned if you're not necessarily an earthy, woody, musk kind of person. This is mostly a floral, mostly a floral and very, very feminine. I'm very grateful, frankly, for the wood and for the musk because I do think it's anchoring it a little bit from like flying away into just like sugar, flowers, you know, etc. It's a pretty sweet candle, very sweet, very floral, very tropical. And yeah, the wood is just kind of like grounding it a bit, but it's a muted wood and it's, it's definitely not sharing the spotlight with those tropical florals. I like this candle. I thought it was great. It's a very solid summer candle. It's not magical and like brilliant in the way that like Homeworks Tiare Sunrise is. I think that Tiare Sunrise is just, it's just brilliant. It's, it's incredible. So I wouldn't say that this is quite in that category of being unexpected and magical like that, but it's definitely in that genre of like a nice fruity tropical floral and I can get behind this packaging and that beautiful yellow wax. I mean, can you think of a better packaging that says this is summer, this is July, this is August, this is the tropics, frankly. So really great summer floral, I can recommend it. Um, for the most part, the burn has been okay. I have struggled sometimes with this one though, with like puny wicks. Sometimes it just didn't want to burn quite the right way. I haven't experienced puny wicks on this one as much, but I haven't also burned it as much either. So I can't like speak for that 100%. Does it look like they've got about the same wicks? Yeah, I would say so. Although maybe these wicks look a little thicker, which is maybe why it's performing a little bit better. I don't know. Strength and throw. <laughs> I would say that this one is in the 5.5 to 6.5 realm. Maybe it gets to seven. When it's burning correctly and it's burning high, maybe a seven, maybe a seven. And I would say the throw is at least a 6.5 or a seven. So it does carry. It is also a little bit thinner than I would like. And um, if the wood and the musk came forward a little bit stronger in the burn, it might contribute a little bit better to strength. Whereas you just kind of get those really bright floral notes. Um, and if it's not quite burning correctly, then it just makes it more of a muted six which six is still good. I mean, frankly, there's a lot of companies with much more expensive candles that are kind of topping out at six. So I would say six is good. It's a solid summer candle. Like I said, doesn't blow my mind, but you know, you could pick one up and burn it for several summers because it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of candle. And obviously it comes in various different sizes, but um, if you get a really pretty good size one, you could keep this for quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's what I've got. Tahitian Twist or Soleil All Day. I'm a fan. Check it out. I will leave all of the information for Village Candle down below. I kind of get the sense that year round they have this on their website. So this is like one of those, you know when Bath and Body Works comes in January and February, they come for Tahiti, right? Like that's where they're gonna be, yeah. So this is kind of one of those two. If you wanted to grab one and burn one in January, you definitely could. I like it, yeah, well done. I'll see you guys in the next one.